Okay, we have a box. Hopefully this box is the part I need to be able to get the S3 past its MOT. Um, hopefully this is a headlight level sensor. Should we open it up? Come on. I'll try to do this one-handed. What do you reckon, Ellie? Is it? Yes. This crusty old second-hand unit here, which I'm probably going to need that before I put on. That's <laughs> so bad, isn't it? That's so rusty. Um, anyway, let's get this on the car and get it MOT'd. Yeah, Nelly? Doosh. Let's get this sorted. Okay, so this is what it failed on. Broken headlight leveling sensor, which is this thing here. There's the new one. It's this little green bit that snapped off there. Um, so let's get this car MOT'd. Okay, the S3's passed its MOT, thank God. Um, the car's probably not been on the road for about two years now, um, since it sort of got stolen, was in the impound, and I've real bit rebuilt it. Um, it's really shit weather, but let's go for a drive. Okay, you join me in the S3 on its first drive after its MOT. So um, we're down some country roads um, just so I can get some good filming. Um, it's pretty bumpy, um, there's a lot of potholes. Um, so <laughs> just bear with me on this one. Um, so, was the S3 worth it? Um, well, we spent probably 13 and a half. 13,500 probably on it, almost 14. Um, so really, if you're looking at a 2014 S3, um, mine's got 45,000 miles. It's, you're probably gonna pay around 13, 14 for one in good condition. Now mine's Cat S, so that obviously does devalue it quite considerably for some people. I'm obviously not worried about that. So in that respect, for me, um, and having a bespoke Audi S3, um, that are face lifted and it works and drives, albeit very bumpy in this in this sequence of the of the video. Um, for me, it's worth it. Um, I'm not sure other people um, would have probably paid that much for a Cat S. You probably pick them up with uh, between 12 and 14. So we're about right. We're about right in respect to that. <laughs> Was it worth the time and effort? So we've, we've got quite a bit of time invested in this. We've got quite a bit of money invested in this car as well. Um, if I was gonna if I was gonna sell it, it certainly wouldn't be the time and effort, no way. Um, because I knew right from the start, right from the get-go, that I was gonna be keeping this. Obviously, I invested a lot of time and a bit more money than what I would do if I was looking to sell it. Um, if I was looking to sell it, I definitely wouldn't have done the facelift. Um, facelift parts are a bit more expensive than pre lit facelift. Also, the facelift um, things don't necessarily work instantly on that. Um, for instance, the headlights. So, um, I think if I was if I was going to buy it again 
and I was going to sell it, I definitely wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't do the facelift. But as I knew I was going to keep it, facelift all, the, all day. Overall, I'd say the build in time length, far too long, far too long. It shouldn't take that long. It really shouldn't take that long. Um, so it's taken almost what, seven months probably. Um, and I mean, that's that's getting up quite a long period of time. Uh, three and a half months of that was obviously stuck in pain, which is, which is not ideal, which kind of killed the project a little bit. Um, to see how it performs. So um, we're just in third gear at the moment, about 3,000 revs. I'm about to just floor it, so let's just see how it works. Okay, so pretty nippy when it wants to be, that's for sure. So this Model S3 is the 300, or just below 300 brake horsepower, the pre-facelift. The facelift is about 310, I think on book it's about 306, so um, hopefully you can hear me. The road noise is loud and it's really raining. Obviously a a large part of buying this car is its, um, its power. Um, so I'm just going to test this. We're just driving along now, um, just in a low gear. Um, so I'm just going to hit the throttle and see what it does. Ready? Three, two, one, go. roundabout in second three two one go Okay, the S3 build is complete. Let's take a look at some before and afters. We are done, that's a wrap. The S3 is built and on the road. I just wanna thank you all for following me on this journey, my first YouTube series. Um, I've learned a lot, I've certainly learned a lot. Thank you for everyone for your input and comments throughout the whole series, it's been great. Thank you all that's followed me throughout this journey. Um, without your support, I couldn't have done it, so a big thank you to you. Now the S3 is complete and the S5 is almost there. 
we've got to find another project. Stay tuned.